It's felt long. Something felt away long. from this test has been uh, Cameron Bancroft and Steve Smith have both given interviews that have aired today. What have you made of, of what you've seen of them and also the timing of them coming out as they have today? I've seen a couple of headlines, of which I'm a little bit shocked at, I must admit. Some of the things that have been said are um, yeah, a little bit shocking to me, I guess. You know, we've got to remember we're nine months on from a lot of this stuff and, and you know, there's still a lot being spoken about with what happened in Cape Town. So um, it's going to be interesting to see the reaction now. Now that those, those stories are out there, it's going to be really interesting to see what the reaction is tomorrow, whether that's the newspapers or the news channels or whatever. I think there's enough probably in those stories to raise a few eyebrows. So we'll, we'll see where that goes. Is there a chance that this could distract the 11 players in the field? Obviously, you know, the bowlers, Tim Payne, they were all there in Cape Town. Is there a chance they could be distracted? Um, I wouldn't have thought so. I think the guys that are not you know, banned now have had long enough to be able to move on from all of that stuff. You know, the guys that are banned are still living with it on a daily basis, I guess, but the other guys probably aren't quite as much. Um, yeah, so I'm pretty sure that, you know, Payne and some of the other guys that were part of that team over there have, um, well, they have to. They have to try and leave that behind and move on and worry about what they've got going on in the middle of the MCG. Does that timing disappoint you, given that, you know, we're in the middle of a great test series, everyone sort of has moved on a little bit. D does the timing of it and bringing it all back up disappoint you? Um, look, at the end of the day, I don't know when the interviews are done, um, but from a, a wholly journalistic approach, I guess, you can understand the reasons why it will be aired today. You know, we've probably got quite a big percentage of the population watching the cricket somewhere today, and I'm sure they'll be reading about it tomorrow, so I can understand why that would happen. Um, I'm not sure how happy the players and that will be about it, or Cricket Australia will, will be about it, because, you know, there's a pretty special moment in Australian cricket on a day like today, and so we'll see what the reaction is. And just finally, with, with Steve Smith, obviously, you know, his ban does end soon. His captaincy ban is another 12 months. Beyond that, do you have any problems with him being captain again? And, and do you think he would be the next captain once Tim Payne's moves on? I think he will come back into the captaincy, yeah. Um, look, at, at the end of the day, he's owned up to what he felt, he felt his leadership failures were. I think he's been pretty open with that over the last, the last few weeks, or last week anyway, with a couple of different interviews that he's done. Um, and, you know, I'm... I'm like, hopefully I'm like most, I'm willing to forgive after he serves his, his penalty. Um, that's the way I, I think about it anyway. It's a, it is a pretty hefty penalty for these guys to have the 12 months on the sideline, let alone the financial side of it as well. And listening to what, he had, what he's had to say, Stephen, I think you'll come back a much better person, a much better leader as a result of what's happened.